Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Plenty to talk about in the Western Pacific today across the tropics, but also want to mention, you know, our rainy season front still lifting north and it brought some heavy rain across the DPRK. Some pretty significant flooding. These aerial images telling the whole story and it's not too common. You see the uh, state run media releasing these images, but also releasing this interesting image of the Supreme Leader Kim Jong Un driving in the floodwaters. Of course, his driver, he was sitting in the back seat of that Lexus there. I just found that interesting. Um, must not got in the memo. Don't turn around. Don't drown. Uh, just something to remember. If you ever do see floodwaters, you're not sure how deep it is. Just, um, you know, try not to plow right through it. Uh, also, the floodwaters can rise fast and they do have often a lot of disease and sharp objects in them. So try to stay out of it if you ever catch yourself in one of these type of situations. Hope the best for all the residents, though. They're still uh, being impacted by that, though. Uh, looking elsewhere there in the tropics, so we still have abundance of shear. Look at the upper level low, this wind coming in from the north towards the south here, just north of Guam. Of course, we were watching this LPA towards the east of the Philippines, pulling towards the north and west. We had a couple other invest areas back here towards the east, but this one, which everybody was a little worried about, had a lot of convection, actually getting sheared off towards the north here due to our front dipping on down. Now this front is going to help increase showers, some instability for parts of Guam, but also just overall almost feels like a November type setup. You can, it's not quite a cold surge. You have this right in here, this uh, upper level low, and then you have our front, but look at the tail, that moisture inflow all the way back towards Mindanao, increasing showers out there for them. But all this is just going to increase shear. With shear, we're going to be seeing a vast reduce in the potential of tropical systems. And I mean, just look at this 50, 40 knots of shear all the way back towards northern Luzon, 40 to 50 knots. Anytime you see that, uh, you're looking at a significant reduction in the potential for tropical cyclone activity. So, want to continue to monitor that, but at least for the time being, yeah, I don't see anything significant developing out here. Like I said, still could bring some showers for Guam, parts of the southern half of the Philippines, uh, even over towards Manila. We still have the southwest monsoon. I mean, it's still there, but uh, definitely going to see a, a lack of tropical cyclone activity for the upcoming week to two weeks. Uh, do have a decent southwesterly wave for our friends out here in Guam and Saipan. If you're a surfer, you might enjoy that on the outer skirts of the reef there, but just watch out for those passing showers through the upcoming days. Temperatures and Fahrenheit because uh, they used empirical system out here. So just want to give you a little bit of love for you guys. But we can switch over to our friends in the Philippines where, um, of course, the temperatures are Celsius. So let's take a uh, look at that here. Just looking ahead. Oh, my slide isn't skipping ahead. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, first off, let's take a look across East Asia. Bangkok, uh, thunderstorms here on our... our um, Wednesday, got some uh, highs into the mid-30s. There's Manila's forecast, cloudy with some light wind here, temperatures into the 30s as well, lows into the 20s. Taipei, you're also looking at the 30s there for you, as well as Okinawa, 33 there. Uh, some partly cloudy skies, actually relatively dry for our friends there. M Tokyo here on Wednesday, still going to be looking at mostly cloudy conditions and partly cloudy temperatures, staying relatively warm into the high 30s. Funny, furthest northern spot, uh, the hottest of the temperatures here in that extended forecast. So I want to continue to keep an eye on uh, what's going on though out there with that rainy season back here in the Philippines. Here's that closer look I was talking about. The fly over here in Davao, 33 degrees there for you, 29 in Cagaya de Oro. Uh, really heavier showers as we go ahead through our Wednesday for Mindanao, not quite as heavy and actually could look at some sunshine a bit across western areas of Luzon. So yeah, I mean, not going to be completely dry, but definitely a far cry from what we were getting a week ago today. All right, here's a look at that forecast for Manila. Yeah, afternoon thunderstorms, but nothing crazy. No typhoons as well in the forecast. All right, if you like these updates, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. I truly appreciate any feedback that some of you may have out here. And uh, you know what? Our goal is to get up to 100,000 subscribers eventually. So hopefully we do get there one day we get the channel verified it gets a little bit more love with the algorithm um but for the time being a massive thanks for everybody on patreon who does continue to support the channel i can't stress it enough thanks guys anyways that's your westpac weather update for today as always thanks for watching and stay safe out there